welcome back to Poppins Approved. Today I thought it'd be really fun to compare some of these convertible bags because they have a similar style to them. Right here I have the Lily Jade Madeline. This is the Mina Bay Amelia. This is the midi version and it's also the 2.0 version. And then right here I have the Elky diaper bag in black. And as you can see, all of these bags look kind of similar. And that's why I thought this would be a pretty interesting comparison if this is the style you're going for. There's quite a few bags out there that you can choose from. Lily J does make the Madeline in a full leather option, but the one I have here with me today is the canvas and leather. The Mina Bay Amelia is actually made of full grain leather. And then back here, the Elky is a really nice faux leather. I've always loved the leather from Lily Jade. It's super nice and soft. It wears well. It just gets nice and soft with time. You can see there the really pretty logo embossed on the front the cute lily logo there on the zipper pull and you can also see the texture of the leather really well on this front flap here let's look at the Amelia from Mina Bay I don't know what it is about this leather in particular but it is really nice and soft I know that Mina Bay does use a lot of different um, types of leather so be sure if you have questions to ask them on their Instagram or maybe on their website but this leather here that comes with the new two point oh um, Amelia is super super like soft and squishy and it feels so good and let me just show you there the texture of that leather this one I feel like is a little bit more matte and smooth compared to um, the front of this Lily Jade one. Now let's have a look at the Elkie bag. This is also a really nice bag, and I know that over time it will um, get softer and squishier. When you first get it out of the box, this one to me feels like faux leather. It doesn't feel um, super duper soft, and obviously this is a faux leather option, so it's gonna feel a little bit different than the two um, real leather options. Now let's take a closer look at the sizing here. Since this is the um, midi version of the Amelia, I think it might be smaller than the Lily Jade Madeline, but actually now that I'm holding them next to each other, they look pretty similar in size. I think it would probably go like that. So the Elkie is back here in the back. If I had the regular Amelia, the um, bigger version, I think that one would actually be the biggest comparable to the Elkie one. It looks like the Madeline is a little bit taller than the Amelia. Let me turn them sideways and see what they look like width-wise. I actually have the Madeline packed up right now, so it would probably be a little bit skinnier. This is interesting here on the Amelia and on the Elkie bag, they have kind of a triangular shape where it's thinner at the top and wider at the base. Whereas on this Lily Jade Madeline, it's kind of the same thickness um, from the top to the bottom. You can see all three of them have D-rings here on the side to attach the messenger strap that comes with all of the bags. On the bottom of the in a bay bag, you have some nice feet for protection. The bottom of the Madeline does have feet as well. Um, it does have the leather here on the sides, but the canvas is here in the center. If you get the full leather option, obviously this part is gonna be leather as well. And then also on the Elkie bag, you get some nice feet for protection, which is great. Let's look at the outsides of the bags and then we'll go on to the interior. So on the outside of the Elkie bag, you get this really cute um, tassel here. That's a cute addition to the bag. Then you have two hidden magnetic pockets here. They are really nice and generous right there in the front. I have just kind of a normal size wallet here. Let me just show you that that will fit in there. If you needed easy access to something like a wallet, that would be a nice place for it. And it does feel pretty secure with that um, magnetic closure. I would say that these are nice strong magnets. They find their home very nice and easily, so that's great. Then you also get a couple of pockets on the sides. These are not um, huge pockets, but I think they will fit um, smaller water bottles pretty easily. And then on the back here, you have a um, hidden back section, which is really nice and big. It's the whole entire length and the width of the bag. It does have a magnetic snap closure right there to keep those items secure. Then you can see here that I have attached the messenger strap here as a backpack strap. So I've kind of tied it around there and then you attach the ends to the bottom with these D-rings. It is the same for the Lily Jade. Your messenger strap can also become your backpack strap. Just tied the knot over this D-ring and attached there at the bottom. The Mina Bay Amelia is a little bit different. So you actually get 
extra straps with this bag. There's a strap separate for the messenger strap and these are specifically for the backpack straps. So you can see here on the bottom you have not D-rings but these like little leather loops here that you can attach the um, backpack straps to and then you just have clips here at the top to attach. So if you don't love the knotted look of the other bags to kind of anchor the backpack strap there, um, maybe the Amelia would be more your style. Something else that you get with the Mina Bay Amelia that you don't with the other two bags is this um, luggage sleeve here. So you actually have a zippered section. It is um, a magnetic closure right here as well, but you can put this over your bowling luggage and um, if you travel a lot, maybe this would be the best option for you as well. I forgot to mention on the back of the Lily Jade, you do have a nice big um, zippered section here. You have a lot of space back there to work with. Um, definitely the biggest pocket is going to be this pocket here on the Elkie bag because it is the whole back section, which is really nice. I've always loved the Lily Jade pockets on the outside. I find that um, this is the perfect place to slip things like my phone. Um, I have over here like sunglasses and then my um, like hand sanitizer, stuff that I grab for quickly. I love having those pockets on the outside. I love that they're nice and streamlined to the bag, but they are nice and roomy. I can even fit um, water bottles in here, which is really great. Another thing that I like is you do have this center pocket, but it is protected by this magnetic closure and this flap. So I'm not worried about putting things like um, my wallet right there. So I have easy access to it. I'm not worried that it's not going to be secure when it's on my back because there is this flap there to protect that pocket. And then you do get a little extra pocket right here just keeping things like receipts and stuff <clears throat> just like the Elkie you get a really pretty tassel on the Lily Jade but this tassel goes a little step up and adds some really beautiful jade beads there let's look at the outside pockets for the Amelia I've mentioned this before in my video of this bag that this kind of looks like it would be two separate pockets because it does have this seam here but it actually is one big pocket with a magnetic closure you can see it's the whole entire front of the bag which is really cool if you um, need a good like grab-and-go spot for things I find that I'm a little bit worried about putting some items in here because it is just a magnetic closure and it's kind of a big pocket so if the inside is really stuffed full I'm worried about this pocket kind of falling forward honestly I haven't had an issue and it hasn't been a problem yet so I don't know why I'm kind of like paranoid about it but that's just one of my concerns so easily fit a wallet there. You can even fit a really nice big wallet on there. I would be more hesitant to put my wallet in there just because I feel like if it is kind of gaping open, someone could maybe grab your stuff out of there easier. And then we already talked about the luggage sleeve section that you could use as a pocket. But then you also have one more zippered pocket right here on the side. And this is their famous neoprene pocket where you can put things like water bottles. I know some people do like sunglasses to keep them nice and protected there. So I always love um, Mina Bay's neoprene pockets. They're really well done. Um, the drop length on all of these tote handles is really good on all of the bags. The 1.0 version of the Amelia was too short, but now they have extended it with this 2.0, so this fits really comfortably under your shoulder. I would say that the Elkie has the longest drop length, and I will show you at the end what these look like on the body. Okay, just kind of testing out all of the zippers here. You can see the Mina Bay is really easily done with one hand. The Elkie is really nice as well. I feel like the Mina Bay might have a one-up on the Elkie. Um, obviously, obviously I'm still doing it with one hand, so it is very easy. I just feel like it felt smoother on the Mina Bay. And then the Lily Jade always has really nice zippers, especially on my Caroline bag that I have from them, their um, full leather bag. That bag has the best zippers. Um, this one, I would say, is kind of comparable to the Elkie. Now let's take a look at the interior of the bags. I'm sure you're all pretty fairly familiar with the interior of the Lily Jade. There's not much going on in here. There are two little slip pockets right here and then you have a zippered pocket back in the back and then you do have the pretty Lily Jade logo here. 
Now these bags do come with an insert. Most people do not love the insert because it kind of caves in on itself because it's just a fabric insert. Most people like using their packing cases more. These are available on their website. They fit really nicely into all of their bags as a way to um, keep yourself organized. The biggest one is a pretty wide packing case and just to show you it will fit in there really, really nicely. I also wanted to show you this is my 14 inch laptop and if I wanted to bring this with me, I easily could throw that into the Madeline bag. It fits with no problem at all. And so this can easily become like a really nice, pretty work bag as well. Okay, now let me show you the interior of the Mina Bay. I love how Mina Bay does the interior of their bags. You can see there's just like pockets galore. You have this back section here that's padded. It has this pretty detailing here to hold those items in place. And then on this side of the bag, you even have like a slip pocket here and a zippered section over here. It's a really nice, easy to see color and a nice wipeable material. I just think Mina Bay does a really excellent job with their um, internal structure. Just for fun to kind of compare the sizing of the Madeline, you saw how easily um, these packing cases just slid right in. Um, it looks like this is gonna be just fine as well. It's a little bit tighter because you do have some internal organization and pockets, so that kind of bumped up against the pockets there, but it looks like that would barely fit if you didn't have these side pockets full of anything. So I would say this bag is gonna be just a little bit smaller than that Madeline bag. Also keep in mind this is the smaller version of the Amelia, so if you get the regular size, it'll be um, much bigger. I don't think my 14 inch laptop is going to fit in here. Um, I know that there is this padded back section that um, is good for like Kindles and maybe iPads and things like that. I'm just curious if this will fit just in the main part of the bag here. And actually, it's kind of bumping up against that pocket inside. Looks like it will fit. And does it zip? and it will zip up. It will not fit into that back padded section because um, it's too big. Let me see if it will fit into that back padded section. I don't think it will because I think it's gonna be a little bit too big. I'm actually having a hard time like even getting this out. Oh, well look at that. I can actually fit my 14 inch laptop into that back padded section. It's a little bit tight because I think the laptop is just a little bit too wide for the bag, but it definitely fits height wise. But yeah, I wouldn't say it fits the best in here. So definitely if you're looking for a laptop bag, um, I wouldn't say that this is the best option for that. You'd probably wanna go with the larger version of the Amelia. Okay, now let's take a look at the inside of the Elkie. The interior of the Elkie is really, really unique and cool. So not only is this a beautiful liner, but you can actually switch these liners out. There is a zipper over here and you can unzip the entire liner. You can take it out, throw it in the washing machine. It's such a cool idea. And there are six slip pockets all the way around the bag to help you stay organized. And then you have this nice big main section. And on their website right now, they have lots of different liners that you can choose from, which is really fun because if you want to grab a few different liners, you can totally switch up the look of your bag, which is really fun because sometimes you get bored of the same old, same old, and it just gives your bag a whole fresh look. Okay, here is the Lily Jade packing cases. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see it fits there no problem. You have plenty of room. You have a little more room on the side there even than the um, Madeline. I would definitely say the Elkie is the um, biggest bag of the three. Now let me just check and see if my laptop will fit. It will fit just sitting in the center. There is no like back pocket or anything, so you'd have to just put it in the main part of the bag, kind of like I did with the Madeline. I believe it can fit on this really nice big pocket on the back. Let me see here. Oh yeah, totally. I think you could even fit a 15 inch there with no problem. My 14 inch fits there and I think I can do the snap closure as well. This is kind of like padded back here so I'm thinking that this would be nice and safe for your laptop. And then you still have all your room on the interior for all your other goodies. 
I know that there are so many bags to choose from, so if you're looking at this kind of convertible style bag, I hope this was a little bit helpful for you and gave you some insight as to what would work best for you and what size would be the better fit for your needs. If you have any questions about the bags, of course, let me know in the comments down below. I love doing these comparison videos for you guys. If you have any requests for any comparisons you want to see, also please let me know down in the comments. I also want to hear which style or brand is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this comparison and we will talk to you guys in the next review.